Introducing, The Overview, a roundup of short reviews of movies, books, and, everything in between. The Notch, by Tom Holland, 3 stars out of 5. Tom Holland, the master of horror behind Fright Night, 1985, Child's Play, 1988, Thinner, 1996, among others, makes his fiction debut, with The Notch, an entertaining, if unremarkable, novel, of speculative fiction. The Plot A ten-year-old boy who appears out of nowhere, and who has the ability to heal and bring the dead back to life, seems to have brought an apocalyptic plague with him. The high-concept plot starts promisingly enough, but soon falls into a kind of rhythm that is less than compelling. The large cast of characters is adequately drawn, but none are memorable. And the story doesn't really go any place special. But Holland is a born storyteller, and his short chapters keep one reading till the satisfying conclusion. But fans should know, that what, The Notch, isn't, is a horror novel. Trapped, by J. A. Conrath, 2 out of 5 stars. Prior to this book, I considered myself a casual J. A. Conrath fan. I loved his novel's origin, and, Dracula's, his collaboration with Black Crouch, Jeff Strand, and F. Paul Wilson, and I enjoy his Jack Daniels novels. But, Conrath can also be pretty vulgar, and Trapped, is one of his worst in that regard. The premise. A group of people are stranded on an island with cannibals, and mayhem ensues. Conrath takes this hoary concept, and writes a novel that can only be called, unlikable. Its blend of sadism, violence, social commentary, and dark humor, is off-putting, to say the least. Like his Phineas Trout series, Conrath seems intent on being transgressive, pushing things to numbing extremes, and this is coming from someone who likes Richard Lehman, the grandfather of extreme horror fiction. This is borderline trash. The City of the Dead, 1960. 3 out of 5 stars. Atmospheric, gothic horror, featuring Christopher Lee. It benefits greatly from director John Llewellyn Moxie's, of 1972's The Night Stalker fame, mastery of gothic visuals, and a midway twist that is surprisingly effective. But the film suffers from a bland young cast, flat dialogue scenes, and a repetitive nature due to a low budget and limited sets. But, the energetic climax, packs a wallop. Recommended. Ahmed Khalifa is a filmmaker and novelist. He is the writer-slash-director of several short films and a feature, which was released on Netflix, and the author of a number of novels and short stories, including the young adult, horror novel, Beware the Stranger, available on Amazon. Find him on Twitter at, A, F, Khalifa. Text copyright Ahmed Khalifa. 2021.